A 72 year old man was in court today on charges related to a crime from 1984. Kenneth Dupree is accused of rape and murder in a case that was one of the first taken up by the University of Michigan's Innocent Project. Larry Spruill is live at 36th District Court with more. Larry, good evening. Good evening, Kimberly. The Inside this courtroom today, things were very emotional for the family of Michelle Jackson as she was murdered and raped back in 1984. Now, some of the family members heard those details for the first time. Others heard it again. I have to warn you, the details of this case may be hard to hear. Who killed 16-year-old Michelle Jackson? It's been a question police have been trying to figure out since January 25th, 1984. At first, they thought they had their man when police arrested Eddie Lloyd some years ago, but he was exonerated by the University of Michigan Innocence Project back in 2002. But now it's round two of this case. 72-year-old Kenneth Dupree is facing charges of the rape and murder of 16-year-old Michelle Jackson. Medical examiner report says she was strangled to death around the neck and she was sexually assaulted. A Detroit investigator said those details came from Dupree's mouth. The investigator read Dupree's statement. The girl was crying saying, let me go, leave me alone. I then, I'm sorry, I threw her down and I started taking her clothes off. Jackson's cousin remembers that day vividly. The first abandoned garage that I, that I came to, I, I went inside that garage. I saw Michelle. Police said Jackson was on her way to school when Dupree attacked her. 50 year veteran Sergeant David Babcock was there at the scene that day. The victim was laying on her back, as I said, but the thermals that may have been on there were appeared to be wrapped around her neck. And so Dupree is already in jail for another charge, and a judge says tonight he will remain in jail. He's due back in court on November 21st. We're live in downtown Detroit tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4.